Hello students, welcome to another video for class 8 maths. Today we will be dealing with another concept where we are going to use percentage. And that concept is the calculation of the sales tax or the value added tax. Children, you might have heard from your parents that they pay income tax, right? And when we get service of any of the things that we buy in the market, we generally do pay some tax on it. So that tax... Previously, it was called the sales tax, which is charged by the state government for the sale of that particular item. And it is generally added into the product that we buy. And nowadays, that sales tax is commonly called as the value added tax or the VAT. So, we'll take some simple questions and see how this tax is calculated. Now, in this given question, it's telling that find the buying price of some of the articles where 5% ST, that is the sales tax, is added. When you buy a towel of 50 rupees, how much are you going to pay actually for it? So here, the cost price of the towel is 50 rupees and the sales tax is 5%. So we are going to calculate 5%, that is 5 by 100 of 50 rupees. That is 5 by 2, that is 2.50. And the cost that you are going to pay or the buying price as we can call it will be 50 plus rupees 2.50 that is rupees 52.50 this is the amount that you are going to pay after giving a tax of 5% similarly 5 kg of wheat at 15 rupees per kg so 5 kg we are buying and cost of 1 kg is 15 so total cost is 75 rupees this is the cost of 5 kg wheat flour and the tax is 5%. The sales tax is 5%, that is 5% 5 of 75, that is rupees 3.50. So the buying price here for the flour is 75 plus 3.75, rupees 78.75. Now, in this question, the clock is marked for rupees 4800. So, that's the marked price. The shopkeeper offers a discount of 10% on this. And if VAT is received 8% from the customer, find the amount that he has to pay for the clock. Now, when there is a discount, obviously, as you have seen in the previous videos, you know that the discount is subtracted from the marked price. So, marked price here of the clock is rupees 4800. Discount is 10% and discount is going to be deducted. So selling price for the customer which he is going to receive it is 4320 rupees. This is the price that the customer has to pay. That is the net sale price we can see. Now here he has to pay a sale tax or a VAT of 8%. So Sales tax that he is paying is 8% on this amount. So 8% of 4320. So if this is a sales charge that he is going to pay the sales tax. So the purchase price is going to be 4320 plus 345.60. That is 4665 rupees 0.60. This is the total amount the purchase amount the customer has to pay so first we subtracted the discount and then we added the sales tax so here it says that anu bought an ac for rupees 34,992 including sales tax price 8 percent find the price of the ac before it was added so let the price be x so x plus 8 percent of x is going to be your amount that anu has paid so here we'll simply be calculating the value of x so if we cut this this is going to be 324 so the price before addition of the sales taxes will be 32400 so here we did not know the price. We took it as X. Sales is always going to be added. So 8% of the amount that is X plus 8% of X equal to this total which is given to us. So simple calculation. 
The next question is, a DVD player is marked for Rs. 3000. The shopkeeper offers 10% discount on it. If VAT is received 8%, find the amount paid by the customer. So here again, this is similar to the question taken before. The marked price is Rs. 3000. Now here, there is a discount of 10%, so always the discount has to be subtracted. So that is 10% of your marked price which is rupees 300. So your price which the user is going to get it after discount it would be 2700 rupees. But now he is just giving a tax of 8%. So sales tax is 8%. So that 8% is going to be calculated over 2700. That is 216 rupees. So amount paid by the customer is going to be 2700 plus 216 rupees that is 2916 so this is our final answer so I'm very sure students you have understood the very simple concept of the value added tax it is added to the amount but if there is any discount which is offered we always subtract the discount first and then we calculate the sales tax that is always added to your normal price and that is the amount you pay for the items that you buy. If you have liked the video, please don't forget to like and comment on it. Thank you for watching.